hey guys welcome back welcome back to my channel made them it's mom thank you so much to all those that have subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed don't wait don't wait don't wait you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below today i am going to be talking to you about marriage and responsibilities yes responsibilities in marriage husband wife what are the responsibilities what are the roles that you play in your home in your marriage and please feel free to comment down below feel free even if we, we can agree to disagree that's fine by the way guys yes i'm working on my voice but just be here with me so let's get back to marriage and responsibilities yes you know people or most people or some people have the notion that in a marriage men are the provider and women are supposed to take care of the home they are in charge of the home while the men go out and provide there's also this tradition that most of us have i'm sure some of you have that they believe that women are to stay at home and to work uh, clean cook do all the things that pertain to the house and the men had to go out and work and pretty much provide for the house. I don't believe in most of all this tradition. No, I don't believe it. In our home, no, we don't believe in it. That was, this, that was back then, because now we're in a new generation. So many things have changed. I don't even think those traditions that have been practiced back then, years and decades, people still practice that up to today. Not everything, maybe some, but when it comes to the home, when it comes to the responsibilities of husband and wife, I don't think factoring tradition is of a value of an essence. Because to me, I don't believe in that. I don't support that. Some men have the expectation that women are to do everything in the house. Whether, especially if you're not working, even when you're working, they still have the notion, they still believe that it's a women's job. It's a man, or this is a man's job. It's a women's responsibility. To me, in my home, it's everybody's responsibilities. It's teamwork. I believe in working as a team. It's 100% effort, 100% input. It's not a 50% or 50%. It's not you are in charge of this, I am in charge of this. It's working collectively as a whole. That's why they say in marriage, two shall become one. It's teamwork, okay? Balancing the time. It's about you guys finding what works for you and what don't work. It's finding what your husband or your wife is good at doing or vice versa. It's finding each other's strength and weaknesses. If I tell you yes, me and my husband, we work collectively. I know how to cook, my husband know how to cook. I know how to clean, he knows how to clean. He wash dishes, he cooks. It cleans. We do everything as a whole. Because even if your wife is not working or your husband is not working, you still have to work as a team. Because one thing you don't want to do is put in all the load on one person. Just because she's a stay-at-home mom don't mean she has all the time. Especially when you have the kids involved. The kid alone is a 24-hour job. Constantly working. 24 hours, meaning through the night. So the notion that you believe that your wife or your husband still have the time to clean, to cook, to wash, house, bathroom, whatever it may be. Don't do that. Because what you're doing, you're putting a lot of load, a lot of burden on one person that at one point is going to... You don't want the person to collapse. You know what I mean? You don't want the person to fall down one day. Because God forbid, what if something happened? What is the other plan that you have? What is the plan B? You have to learn to work together in a home. 
If there are things that you don't know how to do and your wife knows how to do, learn, try to help each other, try to teach each other. Because at the end of the day, that goes a long way. My dad knows how to cook. So if you guys are talking about all this tradition thing back then, men cannot cook and my dad know how to cook. My dad claimed, my dad helped my mom. But that don't mean that my mom said, you go ahead and do everything now. That don't mean that I tell my husband, oh, you have to clean, oh, you have to do this. No. Because there are days that I know I have the time. So I don't expect him to do it. I come back from work. I pick up the kids. We do work together. I start to cook dinner. I'm cooking dinner as we speak because I know my husband is at work. So I don't expect a lot from him when I know he's busy doing all the things. And it should be like that vice versa. Because I know when my husband is off or when he's not working or when he has the time, he does things in the house. I don't even have to say, honey, can you help me to wash this is? dishes sometimes if i have to maybe because i'm so tired and yes life is already stressful on its own <clears throat> so don't put a lot of burden on one person you guys you have to work as a team try to help each other out it's about balancing the time because working as a team what happens is you both gonna have time to rest trying to relax Try to time to have fun with your family, with your kids. But one one person have all the responsibility of all the jobs. They get tired and you wonder why they don't have time to do all the things. I always like to tell people, especially if you're just new to the marriage or you're about to get married, get married. Don't start what you cannot continue. You don't want to do that. And what do I mean by that? It's like, okay, you know, when some people get married, they have the notion of cooking different meals every day for your husband or husband cooking different meals every day for your wife. Because you know what? The moment you start that, they're going to expect that throughout the whole marriage. Or the notion that you get married, honey, can I take, uh, let me take your jacket upstairs. Let me take your shoes upstairs. Or let me, let me put it there for you. Guess what? That person is going to expect that from you every time from that now on. So don't start what you know you cannot continue. Because at one point, responsibilities will change or things will change in the home as the kids start to come. And then that person is still expecting you to continue doing that. I don't know. How you guys was the responsibility of your husband or your wife in your marriage, but here it's hundred percent responsibilities for me and for him. It's hundred percent input, and there are things sometimes we have in the home that we know we don't have the time to do. For me, time is of the essence. Time is of the value. Time is money. Sometimes when I'm tired and we're both tired, if we have to call somebody to come and help us clean, go ahead and do that. If you have the means to do that, because I do that sometimes. Example, cutting the grass. We tried cutting the grass at one point. It took us several days. I told my husband, I said, no, I'm not doing this again. We get somebody to cut our grass because sometimes you just don't have the time. You don't have the time. Think about it. If it's going to take me three hours or two hours to to do something and I know I don't have that time, creating that time alone, it's a problem. Because the job just piles up and piles up and piles up. So in our home, in our marriage, it's teamwork. It's 100% input. It's working to together. It's one and one and one. We are one. So, I am encouraging you guys, find out what works in your home. Find out how you can balance your time. Find out how you can help each other. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember, sometimes there will be days that you will have to do everything at home. Yes. And it's going to be vice versa.
You don't want to, one thing you don't want to do is compare yourself to your significant order. Oh, I did this today. Oh, I did this three days ago. No, you don't want to compare yourself. And there are days, sometimes I know I have to do everything because I know my, other, my husband is busy. And there are days he has to do a lot of stuff because, you know, I'm busy because at the end of the day, we're trying to help each other. We're trying to build our home. We're trying to make our home a happy place. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. 